Now, why would you do that? Well, it's because you'd be cooperating with God. In Isaiah 43, 19, it says, See, I am doing a new thing. Let Him do that with you. Say, God, it's 1-1-2021. Do a new thing in me. I did. From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Well, a big Happy New Year to you and a big question for you here on Going Deeper. We'll be going deeper all year, so I hope you'll join me for that. But here's the question. What are you going to do? 2021. And we're all hoping that it's going to be so much better than 2020, but it's only going to be better no matter the circumstances, no matter what's going on with the virus and other things. It's only going to be better if you do what you need to do to make it better. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes giving you some scripture that might help you figure out what to do. The psalmist in Psalm 25, 5 said this, But now, Lord, what do I look for? My hope is in you. So if we want to be like the psalmist, and if we want to know what to look for, well, we better be looking in the direction of God, not humans, not our own insight or strengths or things like that. Over in... Um, that was actually Psalm 39.7. In Psalm 25.5, it says, Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. So here's something that we can do to make this a great year. Put our hope in God, not others, not our efforts, things like that. Be sure your hope and your focus is on God. Here's something else we can do. We can be a giver this year. If, if you're not, if you weren't before now, let this be the first day of your new giving personality. Luke 6.38 says this, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use it, it will be measured to you. I think if we believe the Bible to be true, it's not saying if you give a dollar, you're going to get another dollar back. But it's saying if you give with the right motives, you do it, then you're going to be blessed in a lot of different ways, unique ways other than just money. If you, if you give because you want more money back, like you hear somebody on TV say, send me $1,000 and you'll get a pink Cadillac. Send me $1,000 and you'll get $2,000 back. You'd be better to bet that money in Las Vegas if you're expecting that money to bring more money back to you. Don't do that. Just give. And he says, press down, shaken together, running over will be poured into your lap. How do we know that? Lamentations 3.23 says this, Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. So what I want to do is I want to put my hope in God. I want to give to other people this year as God has instructed me. And I want to remember that His mercies are new every single morning. Isn't that great? The Bible says God is rich in mercy. So there's no reason to go another day full of shame, guilt, regret. Let's make it right with the people around us but let's accept God's forgiveness from the very first day on. Ephesians 4.24 says, Put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So let's just say there's not much true in you in the past. Why don't you just say today, okay, I'm going to put on my new self. I'm going to be the person God wants me to be. I'm going to act the way God wants me to act. And it doesn't matter if people think I'm faking it. I'm just going to do it because it's the right thing to do. Now, why would you do that? 
Well, it's because you'd be cooperating with God. In Isaiah 43, 19, it says, See, I am doing a new thing. Let Him do that with you. Say, God, it's 1-1-2021. Do a new thing in me. It doesn't mean you sit around and go, Okay, do it, do it. No, you cooperate with God. You do what you can do. And then God will do the rest. And then finally, this great scripture, Psalm 25, 3. No one who hopes in God will ever be put to shame. So you can hope in God. You can live for God. You can give because God gave so much to you. And you can wake up every day and claim the mercy that's there, the slate wiped clean. That's the God of the universe whose Son died to save you from your sins. I hope this is going to be a great year for you. Um, people have said, man, I can't wait for 2020 to be over. We don't know that 2021 is going to be any better, but no matter what it is, we can make our lives better by trusting in God, living for Him. We will not be disappointed. Thanks for joining me today. Happy New Year to you and to your family. And if you need any help, you call us today or any day at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.